Caleb has a question about baptism. Hello, Caleb. Uh, Caleb wants to know, now, baptism has sort of been a big issue throughout the church's history. Debates about, uh, you know, what does it mean and uh, when should you be baptized? And uh, in particular, uh, that was sort of a big one, that can you baptize infants and does that mean anything? Does that count? Or must you be an adult? And um, and so in the Anabaptist tradition, of course, we've sort of leaned on the importance of having a, a responsible decision to be baptized, that it means something that you're making a commitment. Uh, but Caleb wants to know, is it possible in the context of all that, that maybe infant baptism could be an accommodation that God makes to his people. What do you think? Uh, it's an accommodation that God makes to his people. Um, I'm not sure how to answer that. I, I, historically, it's not an accommodation, I don't think. I mean, historically, uh, you see infant baptism beginning to rise up um, where, the, the, you know, largely because of, of uh, thinking on original sin and the fall of Adam and that you got to get rid of that original sin. Uh, you die with original sin, you go to hell. And so that, 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 that's when baptizing babies became the more normative. Um, so when, they, when, when this uh, uh, Caleb asked, it, it could it be seen as accommodation? I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe he's asking, will God accommodate? Since this is what people sincerely believe, does God accommodate that? And my answer would be yes. I mean, I don't think anyone is going to be lost because, uh, they were baptized as an infant and not as an adult or anything like that. Um, but, uh, uh, yeah, so if, if that's what – you might think of – here's another way you might mean accommodation. I, 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 I believe that, uh, that, that, that uh, uh, baptism is, is sort of like marriage. It's our wedding ceremony uh, where we're betrothed to, to Jesus Christ. And I think that should be done at an age where you can make a responsible decision for that. But the way I've thought about infant baptism is, is liking it to sort of, in most cultures up until recent times, marriages were arranged for the most part. Um, but even when, you know, the parents made the deal uh, and they had a covenant around that. But even in those cultures, um, and, and so that, that's what the parents of, of a baby are really doing. They're, they're saying, we, be, we are, this is a prearranged marriage. Our daughter or son is going to be betrothed to you. And that's a beautiful thing. The other thing, but even in cultures where the parents have pledged it, there comes a point in life where the the two, the couple has to own it, and they have a wedding ceremony, and they then now they make it their own. And so I in, 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 in encourage folks to don't see adult baptism as the negation of infant baptism, but as the fulfillment of it. Uh, you, you're now fulfilling what your parents had pledged for you. <laughs>